So we're going to test for mites. I want to monitor the mites in this hive. We're going to use a sugar shake or sugar roll to do it. It involves powdered sugar and uh, a half a cup of bees. We want to find a frame that has brood on it. So preferably brood that is open uh, just before it's capped over is when the mite will enter the cell and so we'll get a more accurate count of uh, how many mites are in that colony if we shake the bees off of a frame of brood. So to do this, uh, I'll find a frame with brood on it. I want to check for the queen. We don't want uh, to shake the queen off of a frame. So I'll make sure she's not on the frame. And then we'll take, take this frame and I'm going to shake the bees off of it into, into a container. I'll put this on top here so the bees that don't make it or go back in the hive. Our sample size, we want a half a cup. So there will be about 300 individual bees. So I'm going to take a half a cup Half a cup of bees, and I'm going to put it in. Uh, and how do you saute those? <laughs> <laughs> the recipe involves uh, <laughs> bees and powdered sugar. I'll put those in the cup, and then I'll put the lid back on. This is just a mason jar with the ring, and I have a uh, number eight hardware cloth on here, so the bees can't get out, but the uh, sugar and the mites can. I'll return the extra bees there oh, to the hive. Cool. In. Yeah, and then I'm going to take uh, powdered sugar. Uh, this isn't a critical measurement here, so we'll take uh, a heaping tablespoon, a heaping hive tool, <laughs> and we put the uh, put the sugar in there and roll the bees around. We're going to sugar we're going to cover the bees and with powdered sugar. Nope. The reason we're doing this is it will cause the the mites that are on the bees to dislodge. We'll let that sit for just a minute. Does that hurt the bees? So the reason we use powdered sugar is it won't hurt the bees. We can return these bees back to the hive. They'll clean each other up. No harm done. You can also do a uh, ether roll, but that kills the bees. You might get a little bit more accurate sample from that, but this uh, this is kinder. If you put the bees on a, uh, a lighter colored surface, I turn the jar upside down, we'll shake the powdered sugar out and any mites that have fallen off the bees with it. Now, all right, so there's one right there I can see already. Now, so you can't... Yeah. Right, so the, uh, the powdered sugar makes it difficult to see the mites, so you need to put some water on them. I'll spray this with water. And uh, so there's one right there. Oh, that there. is brilliant. There's... Uh, so, all right, so we learned something. So we we saw mites that were all in the drone cells, but as I shook off some workers right off the brood chamber, uh, we found one mite. That's all. So what does that mean? So it means uh, we're not uh, too worried yet about the mite population in there. They're not going to overwhelm the bees yet. How many would be a cause for concern? Yeah, so the economic threshold for mites, if I found three mites in this sample, I need to start to think about or what I'm going to do to reduce the mite population. So you figure if uh, if we if we were to count the mites in this sample, we automatically double that because there's more mites that are underneath the capped brood that of course we couldn't detect. So we'll double it. Okay. So now we'll return the bees. Going to return the bees to the colony. <laughs> They'll clean all, each other up and be just fine, no harm done. So right now they're nazzing of him. They're disoriented. They don't know where they are, what's happened. So they're fanning their wings, partly to get the powdered sugar off, but also they're releasing the pheromone that says, hey, where, where are we? Where is everybody? What happened? Regroup. Circle the wagons. <laughs>